Hey, my name's Rob, and today I'm at PMR Productions in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm here to give you a high-level introduction to FreeSpeak. FreeSpeak is a wireless intercom system made by Clearcom. In our instance today, it's a self-contained intercom that will take in intercom systems, other intercom systems from the outside, as well as uh, 25 belt packs uh, over wireless antennas. In order to function, we connect to these transceivers or wireless antennas over CAT5. CAT5 is connected from this antenna to the base station. CAT5 is what I mean. IP or networking is not what I mean. These transceivers will not pass over IP networking. It's going to be um, dark CAT5 that's run from the base station to these RF emitters or antennas or transceivers. There are some limits that are important to play in when thinking about the FreeSpeak system. Pay attention to these because you may run into one of these before you run into another one. So the first limit is the system is capable of a maximum of 25 belt packs. There are other versions of the system that may have different limits. Uh, one is a self-contained system that's uh, capable of five. And then when you get into the Eclipse frame uh, series, they have different limits based on their hardware. But this station is based on, limit is 25. Another limit is each transceiver in this series are capable of connecting five belt packs. You need more belt packs, you're gonna need more transceivers. And the, another limit is this system is capable of 10 transceivers. And lastly, the number of connections into and out of the frame for comms or audio, however you want to think of it, is there's four paths of two wire, RTS and ClearCom, and or ClearCom, and four paths of four wire audio. We'll get into that later, but um, it's good to note at this point. So I want to jump onto the uh, base station here and have a look at it. This 1U self-contained uh, base station is not only a base station for configuration where you will cruise the menus, um, but it's also a user station. So this is uh, four opportunities to talk and listen on groups, and you have overall volume down here, and you have your, your headset connector. So um, this adds a user station to whatever your belt pack count is. So we may, uh, in this system, we ship uh, eight belt packs but you can add another user to the main station here. So um, we've talked about uh, CAT5. This system uses CAT5 to connect from the base station to the transceivers. And like I said, that can't be networking. But what is networking is the configuration of this base station. This base station has menu buttons and knobs and you can, you can work the menus on the base station or you can connect this to a network and perform um, network uh, configuration over a web GUI. And I do mean a web GUI. Uh, this is another important thing that hopefully is a nugget of truth uh, from this video. There is no software for FreeSpeak. The configuration is dialing into a booted and local piece of hardware. You'll get a web address on this hardware and you can cruise to that web address over the network, but there is no ability to create an offline file uh, to be loaded on a frame down the road. Uh, you can save configuration files off of a local instance of the machine, uh, and then you could load that on your show, but um, there is no offline file creator, all right? So um, let's go ahead and look at the machine here and quickly show you how to find that web address because although you can do the front panel config for all of these functions, it's probably easiest, I know it's easiest, to do it over the web. So I'm gonna press menu down here and cruise down here to the network, networking. And then, um, let's see, up here it says the name is FreeSpeak2. Now, we have uh, factory defaulted this, and so DHCP is enabled. Um, we won't go into that, but the DHCP server in this instance at PMR has assigned us this web address here, which um, is, dot 109 so um i'm going to get a normal web browser i don't know what all versions of web browser it will use i'm using chrome you can too i've got the web uh, address here on my mac computer 
Uh, it will work on Windows computers. It will work on iOS uh, phones. A lot of times I will um, configure a FreeSpeak system just using my phone. So uh, I've gone to the web address, I pressed enter, and here's another little nugget for you. The username is admin, admin, very cryptic. So the landing page here is an overview page, and we have currently two belt packs that have already been attached to, to this system. Uh, they have taken on the roles of FSBP3, Free Speak Belt Pack 3, and FSBP4. Uh, these were turned on and are have been uh, configured to communicate with this system. This is one of the other things that is going to act as a bit of a gotcha for people if they don't uh, pay attention up until this point. Uh, because <laughs> this is wireless and this is wireless and it's all being driven by this machine, if there's multiple of these systems out in the area, this belt pack needs to be pretty much hard-coded or firmly assigned, uh, they use the term registered. This belt pack needs to be registered to this system. And when you get a system from PMR, the belt packs should be registered to this system. However, as a, uh, as a best practices, whenever I do a system, I go through all of my belt packs and I register them to the base station um, as a matter of my kind of booting up the system. There are two ways to do this registration system. One is called OTA. Uh, it's not the system or the method that I prefer, but it is quick and preferred by many. So OTA registration is over the air, and it basically opens up, the system opens up a, 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 a channel or an ability and says, hey, who wants to come hang out? And then the belt pack says, I want to register over the air. What's the password? The do, and then we're together. So here's how we do that. So we're gonna go to device, and we're gonna go down to, I think it's station. No, I don't remember how to do this. There it is, right in the middle of the general page. So I'm on the device tabs, and I'm on the general page. And the second thing down here, you see OTA registration. And I'm going to press enable, and it says, Maybe you can read it. Success. Over-the-air registration is open for the for two minutes. Two-minute timer restarts after every successful registration. So I could get all my packs out and I could do this OTA registration now. Let's see. I don't think this one has been registered. So I'll go to this camera down here and I've got a pack that says no connection and I'm going to press C, which it is illuminating and appearing it wants me to do. Um, if the packs are in the right state and they're open, they're not registered to anybody, or if you reboot them through the menus and go to system registration. Um, okay, so this one has given me an OTA pin code, and I'm going to use these wheels and this wheel to put in the registration code, which is 0000, and I'm going to register it. It's connected, and now, I don't think you're going to be able to see this, but it's now allowing me to choose a role, and I'm going to choose FreeSpeak Belt Pack number one. And this is now registered as FreeSpeak Belt Pack number one. And if I go back to my Mac computer in the overview, I now see FreeSpeak Belt Pack number one successfully registered here in the, in the overview. Now, this is the second method I'm going to show you. This is more of a tried and true, um, worth doing at the boot up or the, the you know, birthing of any, any system you're putting together. Um, <laughs> good old USB cable. Uh, the one you need is the micro. So USB-A to micro. And over here on the base station, we have uh, a USB on the front panel. We're going to plug in here. And this is so much true, guys, that when I'm building a system, I will actually insert this uh, cable and I'll just tape it down and leave it there for the whole show because this is the first step in any troubleshooting to me um, and registering the belt packs. And so then on the bottom of the belt packs, there is a dust cover and there is a USB port. And I'm going to insert this and let's watch the menu here. 
It woke up and says belt pack number already registered. Well, good. That's great. If it wasn't registered, we just registered it. And now I can assume a belt pack role here. Free speak belt pack number two. So at this point, we have, we have uh, re logged in to the station. We've wired our transceivers. We've done a transceiver plan uh, about how to spread those things out. And we have registered belt packs over the air and via USB. And now, out of the box, we have two talk paths. This A button over here will be a talk group amongst every belt pack that is registered to this FreeSpeak system. And this B will be another talk path that's registered uh, amongst every belt pack that is registered to this system. And so out of the box, we have a two channel belt pack system, in our instance, eight packs wide, but up to 25 packs wide. So um, that's pretty much it for this uh, video. I do wanna say that if we were to connect like this to Video Village or any kind of connections on the back, they wouldn't talk. The packs talk within each other, but included in the channels that we've built or haven't built at this point, there are no outbound or inbound traffic. And so the system will work within itself, but won't work to the outside, which is fine. We're gonna get into that in the next video about configuring groups and channels, and um, maybe even think about them as ISOs. But we'll get into that in the, in the next video. So um, at this point, you have a fully functioning, autonomous, free speak belt pack system.